There are tons of powerful exotic weapons in Destiny 2, and many of them don't require any paid DLCs, so in this video I'll go over the top 10 free to play exotics you need to get, and how you can get them completely solo. I'm Marshix, and I make Destiny 2 guides for solo players. If you enjoy the video, please take a second to click like down below, and make sure you stick around to the end to see the number one exotic. It might just surprise you. Coming in at number 10, we have the Sunshot. This is a 150 RPM solar hand cannon, the only remaining 150 hand cannon in the game. Its exotic perk makes enemies explode whenever you kill them. This makes it great for ad clear and PvE. It doesn't stop there though. If the explosion kills another enemy, it will create another explosion, and another, and another, as long as it keeps getting kills. And it intrinsically has explosive rounds, which makes getting body shots even more forgiving. For PvP, this is also a great hand cannon option. Look at these stats. And as mentioned before, this is the only 150 RPM, meaning this has a shorter time to kill than any other hand cannon. Ace of Spades, get out of here. Thorn, more like loser. This drops randomly from exotic engrams, whether it's from an enemy or Xur, the other Xur. It also has a catalyst that drops from strikes or crucible. This will increase the range by 27 and stability by 18. This is definitely a weapon you need to get for both PvE and PvP unless you have this next weapon. Telesto is an amazing option for both PvE and PvP. This has ruled PvP many times over the years and broken the game more times than you can count. While it currently isn't the best option, it's still extremely powerful. This fusion rifle's bolts will stick to any surface and explode whenever anyone gets close. You can use this to set up traps around corners or you can shoot directly at enemies. Unlike other fusion rifles, its bolts will not have any damage fall off since the bulk of the damage is caused by the explosion of the bolts and not the impact. This makes it possible to shoot someone from really far away and still get a kill as long as five of the seven bolts connect. In PvE, this weapon is even better. Many red bar enemies only need one or two bolts to kill them, so you can flail this around and get multiple kills very easily. On top of that, multi-kills will make it reload itself and your kinetic weapon. Not to mention, this season we have the particle deconstruction mod as part of the seasonal artifact. This will make it deal up to 40% more damage against any enemy in PvE. This takes an already insane weapon for ad clear and turns it into a high DPS option. Much like the Sunshot, this will drop from exotic engrams, so you'll need to either get lucky, buy it from Xur, or stick around to the end of the video for the many other ways to get exotics. To top it all off, Telesto has a catalyst that drops from Legend and Master Lost Sectors. This will increase the magazine from 4 up to 7, so you'll very rarely need to reload. At number 8, we have the Outbreak Perfected. This is a kinetic pulse rifle that creates Siva Nanite swarms after rapid hits or after precision kills. Then, you deal more damage to enemies with nanites attached to them. So not only does this kill small enemies after getting headshots, but it will take out majors very easily and even some bosses and champions. This will even stack with your fireteam members nanites, which makes this weapon's damage rival some of the top tier special weapons. I'll be honest, this isn't amazing in Crucible, but once you do get it going, you can have your nanites spread to other players and then take them out really fast. This comes from the exotic kiosk in the tower. It costs one exotic cipher and two ascendant shards. You can get exotic ciphers from the season pass or from Xur's weekly quest on the weekends. For ascendant shards, stick around to the end for how to get them very easily as a solo player. This does have a catalyst that will increase the damage of your nanites even further, but it's currently not available to get unless you unlocked it prior to the Beyond Light expansion. Don't be upset though, because this next weapon on the list can easily take its place. Number 7 is Monte Carlo. I know Monte Carlo isn't usually considered a good weapon, but people really underestimate the potential this weapon has. Firstly, it's an auto rifle with the trait Monte Carlo method. Dealing damage with this weapon reduces your melee cooldown and grants a chance to fully recharge your melee ability after each kill. This also has Markov Chain, which gives it increased damage from melee kills and kills with this weapon. A fancy swashbuckler. So basically, this is a melee-focused exotic. Pretty much the only one of its kind. Alone, this is alright, but when you pair this with things like Throwing Hammer, Seismic Strike, Smoke Grenade, or Celestial Fire, things can get kinda crazy. Start a fight with your melee to get your damage bonus, then as you deal damage, you'll quickly get your melee charge back to repeat the process. Then you can use mods to further increase the build. Melee Wellmaker can easily set you up for an elemental well build, or even something as simple as hands-on will give you super energy after melee kills, and that's just scratching the surface. There's so many combinations you could use this with, so be sure to play around with everything if you do manage to get the Monte Carlo. 
This will drop randomly from exotic engrams. Coming in at number 6 is the Tractor Cannon. This heavy shotgun will destroy majors and clear out adds just as good as some of the previously mentioned weapons. Not only that, but it will push enemies away, suppress them, and apply a 30% debuff to them so you and your allies can deal even more damage. This makes it great against bosses with lots of health, especially in those cases where you don't have a tether or something like particle deconstruction. It also has an additional perk which increases your movement speed after getting a hit on an enemy. You don't even need a kill. This is great for solo players since you can run in, apply the debuff, then swap to a special weapon for DPS. Or against champions, you can deal a bit of damage, then swap to your primary weapon and quickly melt their shields. In PvP, since this is a heavy weapon, you probably won't use it too much, but when you do, it's great for destroying supers. One shot will suppress them out of their super, then a follow-up shot should kill them. And against normal guardians, you'll probably just push them into a wall and physics will take over. This is once again a random exotic drop, and it does have its own catalyst. Any kill in PvE has a chance to drop its catalyst and it will increase the magazine size from 7 up from 4, and give you additional ammo reserves. Definitely a great exotic with some good versatility, but it's not as versatile as the Hard Light. Hard Light is an auto rifle that can swap elements by holding the reload button. With this, you don't need to worry about any shields getting in your way. Most of the time, you can only have one element on your energy weapon, one on your heavy, and one on your subclass. So getting all elements can be a little difficult. Also, this season we have anti-barrier auto rifle, so this can also pop barrier shields. This is the ultimate weapon against shields in nightfalls, dungeons, lost sectors, and any other activity with shielded enemies. In PvP, this is also a very good choice. With the catalyst giving plus 18 stability, it becomes very easy to control. It also has another perk that I didn't mention. It has ricochet rounds, but better. Your bullets can bounce multiple times, and whenever your shots bounce off the ground or off a wall, those bullets will deal additional damage. You can start a fight with someone, then when they try to duck behind a corner, you can shoot the wall and potentially bounce it around a corner and finish them off. This used to be the best weapon in Crucible, but it has since been nerfed. Despite that, it's still very powerful and worthy of its number 5 spot in this video. You can also get this to drop randomly from exotics, much like the majority of the previous weapons. If you're enjoying the video, a like would be very much appreciated. Number 4 is tied between two of the best exotic SMGs, those being Risk Runner and Huckleberry. Risk Runner is amazing when you have its perk active. Taking arc damage will overcharge this weapon to make its shots chain between enemies and never run out of ammo. It also gives you arc damage resistance to help keep you alive and keep the perk going. This is one of my favorite exotics for clearing out hordes of enemies, but the downside is you only get the perk to activate against enemies using arc, which can sometimes be a little scarce. Well, don't worry about that, because in situations where you can't take arc damage, we have the Huckleberry. This is another great SMG with Rampage, and whenever you get a kill, it partially reloads itself. And the Catalyst buffs that even more by making each kill fully reload the magazine. You can seriously never reload this thing and be perfectly fine. This has so much synergy with Rampage. Each time you get a kill, you'll reload your gun and get a stack of Rampage. Since there's never any downtime, you'll have a hard time not keeping Rampage going. So, how do you get these exotics? Risk Runner and its Catalyst both come from the Risk Reward mission as part of the New Light campaign. Huckleberry is a random drop from exotics, and its Catalyst drops from the end of Strikes, Crucible, or Gambit matches. Getting into the top 3, we have Whisper of the Worm. This iconic sniper rifle has had many names in the past. Black Hammer, Black Spindle, and now Whisper. Despite being a sniper rifle, this is a heavy weapon, so it's going to do a lot more damage than most other snipers. Its exotic perk is White Nail. This gives it higher precision damage, and after getting 3 rapid precision shots, it automatically reloads itself from reserves. This means you can shoot it over and over until you either miss or run out of ammo. Even if you do miss, it has Mulligan to give you a second chance of hitting the enemy. And to make everything better, this has an exotic catalyst that further increases its damage after aiming down sights for a second. Unfortunately for new players, this catalyst is not currently available to earn, but the exotic does come from the exotic kiosk in the tower for an exotic cipher, two ascendant shards, and a few other materials. But you may want to save those for this next weapon. Number 2 is the Sleeper Simulant. You probably thought this was number 1, but it's not. Sleeper is a heavy linear fusion rifle that overpenetrates enemies and splits its shots once it hits a hard surface. This destroys everything it goes up against, especially with the Particle Deconstruction mod. This thing alone can melt bosses and dungeons and even destroy champions in one hit. 
and it's not even bad at ad clear. If you shoot the ground in front of a lot of enemies, the shot will bounce off and probably kill most of them. In Gambit, this snipes other guardians from across the map. Since it deals so much damage per shot, you only need to get a body shot from any distance to kill the other players. And it's the same in Crucible. Charge it up as you're turning around the corner, and whoever you hit is probably dead. Just like the Whisper, this comes from the exotic kiosk in the tower. It takes one exotic cipher and one ascendant shard. This is currently a top, top, top tier option for any activity and definitely worth spending your exotic ciphers on. However, number one is another linear fusion rifle that can do much more. I'm of course talking about the Arbalist. Arbalist is a kinetic linear fusion rifle that takes special ammo. This has the perk Compounding Force, which allows it to deal extra damage to enemy shields and it gives it built-in anti-barrier. This means you can run this alongside a pulse rifle with unstoppable and a sword with overload and have every champion type covered. This is huge for solo content or high level content with LFG players that you can't really rely on. It also has Disruption Break to increase its own damage after breaking a shield. Pair that with Particle Deconstruction and you'll be chunking majors, champions, and bosses. I was saying earlier how strong Hard Light was in activities with shields and this is one step up from that. This also leaves your heavy slot open to something like a rocket or a sword, or heck, even another fusion rifle to double the benefit of your ammo mods. In Crucible, this is actually really good, especially on console. It's very forgiving with its headshot registration, and since it takes special ammo, you'll be able to use it often. And just a few weeks ago, it was given a new catalyst. This will give it Genesis to reload itself after breaking a shield and regenerate ammo when shooting a shield. So you'll be able to shoot an enemy, break their shield, and have a full magazine to dump into them with a damage bonus from Disruption Break. What else could you possibly ask for? If you're interested in farming exotics solo, check out the video on the left. If you need ascendant shards for the exotics in the tower, check out this video on the right. Do you agree with this list? Let me know down below. Thanks for watching, I'm Marshix, and I'll see you next time.